always comes to this. Today I just want to do a bit of a different video. Um, I've been talking a little bit about kind of who I am as a person and there's one topic that I haven't touched on a ton that I really feel like um, could use its own dedicated video. So I don't talk about my weight loss. I, I went through a huge weight loss back in oh, 2009. Um, I weighed about 240 pounds when I was uh, quite young. I guess that would have made me about 21, somewhere 21, 20. So that should give you an indication of my age. Lots of people ask me how old I am all the time, but uh, I'm uh, 34. Anyway, um, in the year 2009, I went through a pretty drastic weight loss. I lost about 90 pounds in six months. And uh, it's something that uh, I considered probably to be my biggest body mod, actually. You know, I have a full body blackout tattoo, and before that I had a full body, uh, about 550 hours worth of custom tattooing of all different styles. Um, really a little bit of everything except maybe watercolor or new school, or, or you could argue parts of my first suit was a little new schooly. Anyway, uh, I've been pierced well over a hundred times and I've stretched almost all of my piercings. You know, I've uh, obviously I had my tongue split last year and now I'm doing the third bodysuit. But I consider the biggest body mod that I ever did was the weight loss. And it even, I think that body mods have a way of uh, changing your inside as well. They're not just about changing your outside. Um, and it also likewise had the biggest effect on me mentally and maybe even in a way emotionally and spiritually as well. It changed my whole, my whole identity changed my weight loss. And I want to talk a little bit about how I did that, why I did that and everything around that. Um, because sometimes people will see those pictures of me and think, wow, you've changed a lot. And yeah, it's been more than the tattoos. So, in 2009, I had been with the same woman for about four years. Um, my first fiance, my son's mother, who actually passed away with uh, pancreas cancer in 2016. Uh, but I'll get into that a little bit more. She had, uh, she had Crohn's for most of her life. And the entire time we were together, she had Crohn's. And most of our relationship was... Um, for me anyway, was spent either at work or at the hospital with her. And for the entire relationship, when, I, when we got together, I was about 170 pounds. But because I wasn't really caring about taking care of myself or even thinking about myself, it was always either working or uh, supporting her. Um, most of my self-care or self-interest had completely gone out the window. You know, you don't care what you look like in the mirror when you're taking care of someone or trying to take care of someone who's sick forever. And this is by no means blaming her as it, so much as it is um, giving reason for what happened. Um, I gained a lot of weight in a relatively short time span. I think I put on hmm, just in a few years around 50 pounds. And uh, what I was always upset with was that no one mentioned it to me. No one ever, like, it never came up. And oddly enough, my clothes were growing with me. A lot of the clothes that I wore were just stretching and I wasn't even, or else, like, I don't know what was happening with them, but um, I didn't really have to go up too many sizes. You know, my pants would just stretch or, you know, a shirt can always get looser or whatever. And I was wearing a lot of the same stuff, so I never really realized that I had gained any weight until one day um, I was going to take a, I hadn't updated my Facebook profile picture in a long time, oddly enough, and uh, um, I just thought, yeah, I'd like to have a new Facebook picture. And I spent about an hour trying to get one of, from an angle or from a position that I liked the way I looked in, 
and just I never looked good. I never never looked good in any of the pictures I took. And I, I couldn't figure it out why I didn't like any of them until I realized, like, all at once, holy man, have I gotten big. Like, I, and this is not me fat shaming or anything like that, but for me, that wasn't me. I wasn't looking at myself anymore. I don't know how it happened or when it happened, but it seemed like at that moment it had happened overnight. And I, I remember mentioning it to a few of my family members, and they were like, yeah, you're a little big, but, like, it's nothing crazy, but... Yeah, I was about 245 pounds, and I didn't really want... And you know, what scared me, I think, is how fast it came on. Like, I had gone up really, really quick, and I didn't think that that was going to be tenable. But I also did... I'm not... I've always been an extremist. That should not surprise anyone. But I wanted to change that right away. I didn't want to mess with these crazy diet plans and, and wishy-washy methods and methods and stuff that didn't produce results and this is by no means my ringing endorsement of the way I did it but I wanted results quick I wanted results as fat as close to overnight as I possibly could um, I should say that stress probably aided me in my weight loss because it was around that time that my my son's mother and I were splitting up um, after many years of just kind of surviving and, and just trying to make it to the next day, it, it came to the point where we didn't really know each other very well anymore. And um, we had a very uh, kind of sad end to our relationship um, shortly after my son was born. Um, so I think reinvent, reinvention was definitely on the table for me at that time in my life. And uh, I was able to lose about 90 pounds in six months. The first two months I lost uh, about 60 pounds and I was more or less good with where I was. Um, but the, over the next few months, the rest of it came off and it just kind of seemed like even though I went mostly back to my normal eating routine, save for a few things, uh, the rest of my weight just sort of peeled off. I don't know if it was just at that point it was on a trajectory or what it was if I supercharged my metabolism or what I did but um, when I was younger when I was in that relationship I used to eat like whatever I wanted after work it was a lot of mouth pleasure I would get home and have a bowl of ice cream or you know you'd be eating chips or whatever right before bed I, I worked overnights and so when I would come home I would just I would eat whatever and then I would go to bed you know I didn't have a very great diet and I didn't really think about it much um, when I started losing weight, immediately there were certain rules that I gave myself that I've never gone back on. For example, I haven't had pop in 13 years. I haven't had an energy drink in 13 years. If I have ice cream, it's treat meal. I only do that once a week if I have it. Same thing, if I have pizza, once a week, whatever the case. Um, I used to eat that stuff kind of more or less whenever I wanted it. Um, I think when you're going through things that are stressing you out, you give yourself, especially if you're not conscious of it, you give yourself a lot of leeway to do things that aren't great for you. And uh, I think those were coping mechanisms for me. And I think they could be again if I wasn't so mindful of the fact. Um, but I was packing on weight really quick. So um, drastic, drastic changes were made. Immediately I started drinking green tea every day. I still drink green tea every day for people who watch the podcast you'll see me or even remy reacts i'll always have tea around always drinking tea day in day night day out green tea without fail um sometimes as much as i would say between 15 and 20 liters a day but i never drink anything with calories for that period that i was losing weight i was quite literally starving myself to lose the weight i was eating hmm, at first I would go days without eating anything. Um, and then I would eat when I absolutely couldn't stand it anymore. I would have something very small to make the pain stop. Now, again, this is not me endorsing what I did. It's just telling the story. People who knew me at that time who would go a few weeks without seeing me were always stunned by the person they encountered. I lost weight incredibly quickly. It came off with force. It was very fast. But again, I know when I say I, I wasn't eating for days, I mean I literally would not eat anything for days sometimes. 
Um, the first few weeks, I was incredibly extreme. Then when I seen I was getting results, I I started eating a little bit, but it was never what I used to eat. And by the time I started eating normal again, when I had lost 60 pounds, my stomach had shrunk to a point where eating normal for me from what I used to eat wasn't possible anymore without becoming so full I was sick. So my whole life kind of changed in the way that I approached food. Um, I just simply couldn't eat the way I wanted to before anymore. So again, I'm going to keep prefacing that this is not me endorsing that behavior, just saying that at the time, that's what was on the table for me. That's what, that's what I did to lose the weight. Um, now, all through life ever since then, I've always had this feeling that if I ever go to just eating however I want, I could easily gain it back again. And over the lockdowns, I actually did put on about 30 pounds. So now people who have been following me will notice that I'm quite a bit bigger than I was this time last year or even this time six months ago. And that's been scary for me putting on um, like muscle has been scary because I'm in good shape right now. But whenever I see that scale going up, it always makes me think that I'm getting, you know, big again and no one's going to tell me it. So I guess I have that body dysmorphia thing where it's like, you know, I see myself one way, but then I see myself in uh, Remy Reacts or on the podcast when we do it now and then. And I'm like, holy crap, have I gotten big, right? And it scares the hell out of me. It makes you think, you know, am I doing the right thing, working out and eating, um, because big, getting big, even with muscle, getting heavier, it scares me thinking that I'm getting big in the wrong way. I feel like I'll have that thought for the rest of my life. And this is, there's going to be people, some people out there that take this video as I'm being like anti-fat or fat phobic or something. But I don't care what anyone else looks like. I've never cared what anyone else does. I have friends that look... My, one of my best friends, Vince, looks absolutely nothing like me. We, we, from the outside in, you would never assume that we would even be buddies. But I have an image that I want for me, and that's, that was never part of it. That was never something that I was good with. And uh, so the idea of losing my progress that I made all those years, when I see myself about 40 pounds heavier than I was here at the start of 2022... It, it does cause concern for me because even though I know a lot of that is muscle and it's been good change, um, it still scares me and makes me nervous to put on weight. So the idea of eating more, I eat about seven times a day now, to try and get all the protein I need in to, to you know, build muscle and stuff. And I built a lot. Like this isn't me going, oh, look at the size of me, but I'm in better shape than I was. And that's been a lot of work for me and the biggest part of that work has been um just allowing myself to eat enough to gain that size because so much of seeing that scale go up still scares me um again a bit personal here but the biggest see so many people have seen me over the years on social media and gone why don't you go to the gym why don't you get bigger like why don't you get stronger looking like all that that hasn't been because I haven't been working out. It's because I haven't been eating. I've always worked out. There's videos of me years ago talking about working out right after a session, wanting to work out. Right, after. I've always been the guy who worked out. I've never not worked out. Ever since I lost all that weight, I've always worked out. I've always run. I've always you know, done all kinds of different exercises, whatever, whether I'm lifting or whatever. I've always worked out. The part that I've been scared to commit to is eating a lot more because you need to eat a lot to gain. And what eating a lot for me represented when I was younger was um, gaining weight in the wrong way. And whenever, like I said, during the lockdowns, when I wasn't, when I wasn't paying as much attention because maybe I was depressed or whatever the case was, um, I would gain weight and it wouldn't look good. So... Maybe I have some scar tissue there that's colored um, and I just try not to look at the scale anymore because like if I see my body changing in a positive way, it doesn't matter whether I'm getting heavier or not. But if I see that number go up, it does give me cause to slow down. So I've been I've been really skeptical of checking the weight 
um, all this year while I've been doing this, uh, again, another body mod, which has been fitness. I consider fitness to be a huge body mod, whether you're losing weight or gaining weight or whatever the case. I'd say it's been the biggest body mod for me. And this year it's really taken over for piercings because I've kind of, I've kind of been done with stretching piercings and I've even made some holes smaller. Um, what's replaced that for me is trying to get in better shape. But um, again, that's a lifelong challenge for me. And the biggest part of it is eating um, more, not just more regimented. And obviously I have a meal plan now and I stick to it, but just the amount that I eat is radically more than I'm comfortable with. Uh, in a mental mentally so i guess that would be my biggest thing for people looking to get into better shape is or whatever bigger build muscle is you're gonna have to eat more than you might be comfortable with especially if you've ever had a weight problem or if you've ever had a problem for you weight wise because I've, I've used this kind of language before and people have slammed me for not being body positive or whatever the case but I don't care what anyone else looks like. I'm working on me. So that's my thing. Anyway, uh, I hope this has answered some questions about my weight loss. And some people have asked me to make this video for a really long time. And it's never been a subject that I've been too comfortable talking about. But uh, yeah, I hope someone has enjoyed this or found this useful. And I'll maybe make a video about another topic near and dear to me in, in the future if people enjoy this one. All right, I'll talk to you guys again soon. Have a great day.